Being a banker means my weekdays keeps very busy and stressful. So I try to unwind whenever I have a chance to do so by going very close to the nature. As I have a deep interest in wildlife and traveling, so I try to explore places where I have never been before. Rongtong is a small Himalayan hamlet, very nearly located to Siliguri. is a home to some exotic bird species during the monsoon the hills get concealed with lush greenery and mesmerizing view of the cloud never gets old so this escape was primarily planned for monsoon bird watching at rongtong Our train Darjeeling Mail was running on time and reached New Jalpaiguri station at 8 a.m. Then we were greeted by light drizzle and urban cacophony. Without wasting any time, we quickly booked a cab for 1500 and started toward our destination. You can reach Rongtong by the toy train on the Darjeeling Himalayan section. The road towards Rongtong goes through Mahananda Wildlife Sanctuary. and sukhna forest reserve making it an ideal place for birding stopped for a quick tea and fag break at sukhna and came across the loud croaking and quacking of the frogs from the nearby pond ei je awaz ta sunche ne eta holo holud bag holud bag e eto awaz स्मूथल जर्नी क्रिएचर holding tightly to a blade of grass it shows its sincerity towards its surroundings it also reminds me of chipko andalan where we humans hug onto trees to impede loggers our small effort will help the mother earth to heal significantly Look at this cute female yellow vented flower picker. Seems she is just spoiled with the number of colorful choices of fruits available. The collared falconet, a lifer for me. It was perched on a high exposed branch. towering above the tree canopy it kept bobbing its head up and down continuously panda like black strap on the eyes makes it look very cute with a white head and rufous snake belly and legs after the half day birding session on day 1 we came to the bank of shiva khola river this is a perfect place to unwind after a long tiring day 
the breathtaking view of the gushing river amid the green mountains make this place very romantic it is a very popular tourist destination for weekend travelers luckily there was no crowd on that day we opened our eyes on day 2 to find it was raining soon the rain receded and we all were ready for bird watching morning ajke amader ditiyo din now we are going in search of black baza rongtong is very famous for that bird black baza amra kon peter er shonge jabo puro team toiri jawar age ektu photography korlam our guide mr peter beg was our driver too he took us to various locations where exotic birds are found on our way we stopped at a tea garden where we spotted blue bearded bee eaters these are generally uncommon birds and seldomly spotted This violet cuckoo is a resident bird of Rongtong. It is also seen in gardens, orchards and rubber plantations. It occurs from lowland up to 1500 meter but mainly below 700 meter. Wow, look what we have found. A great Indian hornbill. The sight of this majestic bird will surely make your day locally known as hongris we all are so thrilled to see it black baza the undisputed king of rongtong it is a small raptor and often migratory in nature the distinctive crest on the head makes it look very royal it was enjoying its early morning breakfast with immense peace of mind and was hardly bothered by our presence शिवखोला शिव मंदिर एखे घोरा फिर था भावलम जो एक सबाई मिले एक प्रणाम कर जा तो से आसन अपने संगे आ Now we begin our session 2 of day 2. Our guide Peter Beck was driving us to Pagla Jhora, a hot spot for bird watching. It is almost 50 kilometers away from Darjeeling on the hill cart road. We found this elegant adult long-tailed broadbill with helmet-like black cap. It was carrying some nesting materials in its beak and was curiously looking around its habitat.
this banded bay cuckoo seemed to be a little bothered by the frequent movements of other birds around seems it was resting time after a sumptuous lunch in the afternoon another first time sighting a brilliantly colored maroon oriole it was sitting in a distant pine tree and was busy preening its feathers it's monsoon and mating season have to keep himself super tidy to find and attract a suitable partner With this blue-throated barbet, we came to an end of this eventful day of bird watching. From being drawn into the peaceful environments of a green belt to inhaling some fresh air early in the morning, or going for a long walk to find some birds, birding brings us closer to nature and allows us to forget the routine and chaos of urban life. even if for a little while पर आप फिर भी देखा था Thank you.
Thank you.